Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a tea on this gorgeous wig from Wild African. I've worked with them plenty of times and we're back at it again because look at the material. Look at it. It looks so good. I am just so impressed. So let's just take a moment of silence and give me a thumbs up for the consistency for the back-to-back -back looks because I have been giving you guys looks left and right up and down okay so thumbs up the video and go ahead and subscribe for me so if you want to know more about this wig for one make sure you guys are checking out the description box like always I'm always leaving the information for the wig that I have in my head in the description box like this video subscribe to my channel and keep watching I'm super excited about today's install because I'm trying a color I've never tried before this is like an ash brown color um, I know I've tried every brown and blonde and hot pink and blue every color in the rainbow in my hair but this color I've actually really never tried I don't think um it is like a cool tone ash brown kind of color it has some blonde in the front for a little dimension and one thing I did like and I noticed about this wig as well is that the rooting was dark so it just gave it a more professional look very clean and very sleek it's very subtle but it makes a statement. So this wig is from Wild African and this wig comes ready to wear, baby. But do you guys know me? I like to wash my wigs off camera, condition them. Um, I will bleach my knots and pluck them. This one I had to do very minimal work um, to. Um, I did bleach my knots for like 10 minutes, which is typically very short. I do it normally on another wig. I'll do um, the bleaching method for about 30 to 40 minutes because the knots are thicker but on this wig the knots are very very tiny so it only needed about 10 minutes and plucking was very minimal it was not required but of course I had to do it because I'm extra so um that's what I did if you're not somebody that knows how to do any bleaching or any plucking you can most definitely wear this straight out the box if you would like so for this install today like every other install I'm gonna be using my spray I don't use glue if you guys are new and you're wondering girl why are you making a mess and why are you spraying yourself in the eye I don't like glue I can't use glue I would love to learn but I also switch my wigs out a lot so I don't see the point my goal for this year though side note is to master like a glueless method like a true glueless method with no spray no nothing but we're gonna get to that one of these days but for now we're using some spray so i'm just pushing this lace into the product just so that it can melt and give me that scalp like look and as you can see it literally mimics my natural hairline that like widow's peak it dips in at the side and goes back in it literally looks like my hairline unlike some frontals you have to really customize or the hairline goes straight across. So I wanted to definitely do a middle part because of the highlights in the front. I wanted to really make that frame in my face and pop. And I'm gonna do some curls because I feel like curls is the best style for this. I feel like you can never go wrong with curls. Like straight will be cute, but the curls did what it had to do. So I'm just flattening my wig and I probably burnt myself. Yep, that's, there we go. And I'm gonna cut the lace lay it again which this lace is super super thin you guys i love wild african because i love their lace it melts and it just looks so good every single time okay every time so i'm gonna cut the lace real quick lay it back down and while it's laying i'm gonna go ahead and layer my hair i was definitely jamming out <laughs> i'm gonna layer my hair and then curl um, my hair and i'm gonna be using my curling iron you can use a wand because, you know, once upon a time, your girl didn't know how to use a curling iron either. I had to use a wand. So um, I'm going to use my curling iron and then we'll be back. We'll, we'll talk in a second.
You guys, look at the material. This is my favorite part of curling my hair, just combing it out and kind of shaping it and framing it to my face, see how my curls are gonna look. Um, I typically use a wide tooth comb and then I will go in with like a, um, a round brush and just shape it some more to get the look that I like. But um, that was pretty much it, you guys, and I'm gonna take off this scarf and you guys are gonna see the scalp, not even scalp, scalp, okay? And I'm gonna do some baby hairs. Um, I, did, I did pretty good on my baby hairs today. You know they be hit or miss for me, but I did good and that was it. One thing I will say is I use this L'Oreal hairspray today, which I like, but it's not as flexible as a Sebastian and I was using it like Sebastian, so it kind of made my hair at the top kind of crunchy. So I'm gonna not use that like that next time. I would use it as like a final spray all over. Um, but that's my only con and that is my fault. But other than that, you guys, the hair is amazing. I feel like the style that I did, the curls, the middle part shows the color. It shows the density, the bounce, the luster, everything of the hair. I was so excited. Um, it just looks so good. So I'm just doing some baby hairs and I definitely wanted a baby hair moment because I was feeling myself like, look at the, look at the lace. I'm so proud of myself, you guys. You guys, I have just come such a long way with my hair and I just, mm tears okay so i'm just gonna play with my baby hairs you guys know how that goes and then i'm gonna talk to you guys at the end with the completed look because as you guys saw at the beginning i was looking fire okay i was looking popping i'm gonna give myself that so once again make sure you guys check out wild african i will leave all the information down in the description box you need this wig it is fire okay all right guys so this completes the look i am in love i'm obsessed i've actually never had this like um i would call it like an ash brown with the highlights in the front um i've never had this shade of brown it looks so good like it looks so good on my skin i thought it was gonna wash me out but it looks amazing the length is perfect the density and the lace is to die for i was really hoping to get a picture today because i really like how everything came out like my makeup looks good my hair looks good I could have put an outfit together, but it's literally storming like day two of this crappy weather. Hate that for me, but maybe another day. But make sure you guys check out Wild African. I will leave all the information down in the description box. And until next time, I'm out.